Thomas the Tank Engine and Fence Australia Series 2 Foaming at the Funnel Australian Made There is a derby beside Thomas's branch line with the Georgie Woods Railway where the lines divide to go either to the harbour or sloping main. Every afternoon each truck with milk churns are pushed into the derby siding. They are to be filled with milk and Percy takes them to sloping main. Thomas explained this to Wilbert. But a hose pipe thing which puts the milk into the milk churns, he said. They're for sloping main. Percy's taken this load to Sheffield. Sounds easy enough, said Wilbert. I'll try to remember the details. The next day he enjoyed himself. He was a much more powerful engine than Percy, so he found that he could cope easily with Percy's trains. The trucks behaved too. One day, Wilbur took the loaded stones of the harbour. On his way back with the engine ones, he stopped at the derby and pushed the engine trucks into a siding. He left them and set out towards Branch Line Junction, pulling one van. Right, he thought happily. I leave the van a branch line and bring the empty milk churn truck back. Then when those are put in the derby siding, I take the stone trucks to the top station. They were germs. Hello, he said. Hello. Just doing my bit and hopefully my driver won't put me in where we don't take no water. That's what I recommend, lad. Always take things slowly. <coughs> Wilbert continued. His journey to the derby was easy, but his fireman was worried about the water. We forgot to fill up here, he said. Never mind. We'll take some water from another station. Wilbert put one milk churn truck into the derby siding. Then he went to the hose pipe. Just in time, said the fireman, and he put the hose pipe into Wilbert's tank. Wilbert heard some plopping sound. The fireman who told the driver to turn the tap off had a look, realizing that they stopped their engine at the wrong hose pipe. Wilbert's tank was full, but not with water, with milk. Yuck! said Wilbert. Not again, you two! You'll be turning it into foam if it gets in your boiler, gasped the driver. Quickly, they put out his fire. Percy, who came up to help Wilbert learn the way to Sloping Main, was surprised to see what happened to his new friend.
Thomas came and pulled Wilbur to the shed. Not again. Wilbur's tank was emptied and was given a second thorough clean. Next morning, he was quite all right again. I did say you and Percy can make a fine pair, <laughs> laughed Thomas. He had the porridge, and you had the milk. That's the last time we had wet stickies. Ugh. <laughs>